soaks up the damage. It's also a stun setup, and uh, yeah, Hoodwink plus Nature's Prophet uh, against Ursa CM might need to be slightly careful how they like how they approach this one because uh, if you miss a bushwhack and then Crystal Maiden plus Ursa gets on top of you, you are most likely dead. So, what are the speeds of these lineups looking like? Is it 3.7 okay. for Radiant? Nailed it. Sure. Um, <laughs> but, like, if you had to put that in miles per hour, what do you got for me? Uh, that's like 5.2. Well, MS. MS. Already used the stun. Looks pretty dead here. Give yeah. it to Ego. He's going to get low and eventually die to Ego. So run down here, a little bit opposite of what happened in game number one. We'll buy a full raid band, because uh, he is starting with the circlet and slippers. So some extra armor against the Treant Protector, uh, not Treant Protector, against Treants and uh, Nature's Prophet. He's also the one buying the Blightstone. So Dockress is not going to be the one. Usually we see also Hoodwinks buying one, but uh, no need to go for it. In terms of speed, the real answer is this Batrider can, like, we, we've seen this hero pop off so many times, especially on Stormstormer. He had a couple of amazing games so far in the DPC, uh, staying on top of the network, uh, breaking the records. But uh, playing into Storm Spirit, like, I've seen this matchup, like, I I've seen Stormers getting kill underneath the tower. Uh, if Batriders are way too aggressive, like, one pull. One remnant underneath the tower. We Ex saw it with extra help too, though, right? Like with the tiny toss under the tower after you've already used like Firefly and everything. You might need to rotate. You might need to have TP ready with Hoodwink. Even Nature's Prophet might want to TP. It's a lot of harassment on this Storm who has sticky Napalm charges. He had eight. See what Alacrity does here. He immediately takes Firefly. No joking around. So he'll grab Firefly and if X is too careful, he uh, could see himself dropping. Doesn't have the Vortex. It's just Static Remnant Overload for right now. And he's got a stick, but the, the, the matchup right now is looking like Alacrity is going to put a lot of harassment onto this storm. As expected, Batrider puts a ton of pressure on you early on. But once you start to get levels, uh, once you get to your bottle, refills with the water runes, uh, things do get easier. So for now, oh, every single CS you miss like that does open up a kill potentially. Stormhammer, but Ooh. telekinesis, Simon. Now let's He's say, it didn't even land. Getting quite low here is flyby. Off lane Marcy, we've seen uh, some safe lane Marcy. Not a big fan, I gotta say. XCJ going to drop to Sun Goku as they had that pushwhack, had the right clicks, and, well, more than enough to get the kill there on the Crystal Maiden, which is uh, not the tankiest of heroes. To go back to my point about uh, Marcy's safe lane, it's just way too slow compared to some other heroes because this Battle Fury build, like, you're really good once you get your fourth, fifth item. Oh, they're rebound. jumping forward with the rebound and get a kill on the MS. Flyback, I'm thinking about what you could do with this hero for uh, Knights. Maybe sidekick with the Ursa. It's it's a lot of damage, a lot of lifesteal. I'll say, but Flyby. It's only level two. Flyby does have some tangos from Felix. Got a wand to work with, too. Ooh, Felix just going to fight here. Siamang's going to drop just a 1v1 as they went back and forth. Meanwhile, Sun Goku's also dead. Duck Race. He's getting run down, Frostbite. This should be uh, another kill if he goes willing to jump out of the tower. Fortunately for uh, the Hoodwink, he's not. Yeah, this is what we talked about. Uh, like, this aggression from Ursa plus Crystal Maiden, giving first blood to Ego, so he gets his items. and uh, does allow them to play a bit more aggressive if they're not careful. Like, they did kill Crystal Maiden, but as you start to get more levels, once Ursa gets a point in Overpower, Furious Vibes can get out of the Sprout as well. Things are starting to get, uh, like, this This Ursa is going to take care of the business in this top lane. Fortunately, losing his courier that had his Ring of Health on it, so that'll be slowed down. Duck Race then killing himself off to the Tier 2 Tower. 
That's to come back full health, full mana. So he'll come back around. And X. Oh, Ooh, oh, oh burning HP. Oosh. I almost want to say that just that that might lose just the matchup completely, right? If he dies there, yeah, that's uh, definitely it. He gets level six. Uh, then you need to jungle until you get level six. He might even pick up both water runes, refill his bottle twice. Yeah, this uh, storm is still looking for a bottle. He went boots first. Whoever hit his bottle, give it back to him. Yeah, that. that I, I, have you seen this before? Boots before bottle like this for Storm? I think that's okay, but you might need a full magic wand to have those extra charges. Because you want to be able to run away from Batrider, keep the distance. I guess so, but now all of a sudden Alacrity has a very hold, very tight hold on this lane. And that's dangerous. I'll say, Felix, but a rebound hitting now on a Seamong. Oh, big Felix to run away. And X has completely gone over and off into the jungle. So, Alacrity, his lane is wide open. He's got still the water rune inside this bottle. He's about to hit that level six and have the lasso. And what I said, Storm needs the jungle until he gets level six. Because if he shows, we'll get lasso. The Alacrity is looking for him. We might catch him. Ooh, X. Does yeah. have that high ground vision. Almost wrong Double place, wrong scan. time. <laughs> Top lane, Duck Race. Save thanks to the Sprout for a second. Bottom lane, LSA comes in. Siemung just trying to fight back, but Felix, he's going to survive while Siemung drops again Side to this kick. Rubik. Extra damage and the lifesteal, keeping Rubik alive. Not the best uh, target you want to put it on, but uh, it, it worked works. out. XCJ again getting low, probably going to fall, but what will it cost on gaming? Because Ego, he's still moving forward. He's got a kill there on the Sun Goku. This uh, Quelling Blade doing a lot of work here for the Ursa. I like how at one point Ego is like, who do I want to kill? Who's the core? Because <laughs> it looked like he could maybe even kill both of them if there's the Sprout didn't come out. And the, another Power Rune, another one, by, I mean the first one, but uh, X is not level six. Oh, just now got it. it. But Firefly. Lasso, flame break. Oh, not time. Gotta right. chase him down. Yeah, no mana. Still got that haste. There's nowhere for him to go. Son Goku comes over. Do, do they want? They have two Ooh. heroes here, over mid and not catching Alacrity. LSA though lands on a flyby. They have the storm hammer rebound away. It's just that easy. The, the Lina is, and the storm are, so far behind their counterparts. I think Alacrity was thinking about using the Glyph there because he knew exactly what Storm was doing because he went in, but unfortunately the Glyph was on cooldown. Still manages to get a kill, finds the perfect rune with that haste. And uh, the stop lane is uh, getting out of control. Ursa sitting at uh, 40 CS, uh, that means uh, almost 4,000 net worth. X jumping in. Tokinesis, well done by Felix. And I'll talk about wanting to see Felix on this Rubik. They got just that. He was one of the first impressive performances this DPC when we saw him early on. China started earlier, so we've seen like how the meta is going to shape up, uh, at least in the terms of supports. Rubik was the one that definitely stood out. Son Goku, Son Goku. he's yeah. in trouble. Si Mung. So Mung. Oh god, both of these scores might just drop. Alacrity's down here and has the flame break to get the kill. Son Goku's going to drop two. Both these heroes dying. And it's all lining up Millhouse right now for Knights. As XCJ, he does die to Son Goku uh, while he's dead, but ends up uh, just not being the Crystal Maiden. They've also lost this Rubik. Action packed game. Ooh. They can't steal the stack, can they? No. Ball Lightning. Alacrity. Oh, now also going to have Son Goku trying to chase him. Doesn't have Firefly, but Nicely uses done. that Illusion Rune to dodge the Storm Hammer. Now, Ball Lightning, it's onto the low ground. He never made it onto the high ground. Flame Break pushing him back. X is in trouble. Frostbite gone. And there are four heroes here for Dawn, and not one of them can help out their Storm. Son Goku now hit with the lasso. He's not even level six. There's no Wrath of Nature in their future. And a dominating spree here for Alacrity. This is very under-leveled Nature's Prophet, uh, level five and a half. 
compared to Marcy, who's uh, six and a half, got the tower, will get level seven on bottom. I I'm a big fan of this, like, offlane Marcy as a core, as a support. The hero just doesn't work out too well, considering with, like, the old changes, uh, especially the ones on the rebound. Mm -hmm. So, you need to play it as core. Ooh. But I don't think... Oh, dude, these are some huge oh. stacks. What, what is got that? Got them both. That's so much gold in the bank. Frostbite, Storm Hammer. They don't care about the Storm Hammer. Eventually, they'll just kill off MS. Alacrity's got another one, and he's got Firefly back available. So, well, is it time to show Alacrity the money, or are they going to hold it there for uh, Battle Fury Ursa? Well, it looks like the answer is Alacrity's going to get some of it, at least for right now. It's a huge stack. Like, this is gigantic. It's one of the <laughs> oh my biggest stacks I've seen. They've been working real hard here. Just throwing Felix neutrals all over the place. Push Swag, Ball Lightning, XCJ, he's here. Sharpshooter lands. Not a lot of mana on X, but he'll Ball Lightning forward and deplete himself of more mana. So now Batrider, almost level 10, 10 minutes into the game. Oh. We'll stack it one more time. This is the stack oh. that probably Ursa's going to take. He's very close to Battle Fury that you mentioned, just 800 gold away. So that's what? One, two, carry the one. Six, five stacks of ancient. <laughs> can carry the one. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many creeps It's there. early in the morning. Okay, I get it. <laughs> 4K lead here for knights. I mean, this is this is just not. It's a, it's an, a freight train that's not being stopped. Oh, Alacrity? Is he going to take it? Looks like he might. Fly by bottom. Dispose and going to need to find a rebound. But won't be able to do that. As Alacrity now, he's taking the ancient stacks. They smoked me the money. They smoked just to be able to farm this stack. So they get the... No damage done and might be able to get something else out of the smoke because uh, it's still up and running for another 10 seconds. Lasso is available. Those stacks brought him straight to a blink dagger. Ooh, stolen sharpshooter. Can he turn quick enough? Uh, no. But eventually, Doc Race, flame break, burning, getting low, and surviving. Ooh, Wrath of Nature and, uh, well, a ball lightning looking for Felix, but Felix, he'll get onto the high ground thanks to the uh, Tumblr's toy into the, the lasso. And then they've got the rebound. They'll get the kill on to X. They steal the storm hammer. They'll throw it right back onto MS. Alacrity now has himself a flame break. Sharpshooter's not going to stop Alacrity from moving forward, and they'll get themselves two. Dawn Gaming crumbling at this one. You see Storm X kind of struggling. Like, even if he gets a trade there, if he kills Felix, but the Tumblr's toy keeping him alive. 11 minute Battle Fury Raid Band phase boots on uh, Ursa. Quick timing on the Battle Fury, but not quick enough to get those ancient stacks, unfortunately. <laughs> those all went to Alacrity. But it brought him into a blink dagger. He actually didn't even purchase the blink dagger. He might just go straight BKB. It's a standard. He was thinking about getting the blink dagger to be able to have some form of initiation well, other than running in. Vortex and a storm hammer. Bullying the crystal maiden. And now Ego, not a lot of mana to work with, but does have two mangoes if need be. Three bounty runes as well about to be picked up. Ursa and gets that honey. No. Royal Jelly's out of the game. No honey. So, you really love that Royal I, Jelly. I know, I do. I talk about it all the time. <laughs> I think about it in my sleep, actually. It probably tastes so good. We have honeycomb at the uh, the early breakfasts. It, it just feels like I'm getting that extra regen in my life in the mornings. So I understand why the item was so beloved. 6K lead here for night. Siomong, he's been pretty quiet. This game, 0-3-1. and one. Yeah. No Maelstrom yet here. Feels like that timing's a little bit slow. Big difference. You're also playing into matchup that you don't want to play into most of the time. Because Ursa is the straight-up counter. He's the one that builds a BKB. Basher locks on top of you and uh, pretty much eats you alive. Let's see. BKB on menu for flyby. Getting a, a lot of farm on this bottom lane. There's a big discrepancy between the first and second hero on the net worth list compared to the others. Like, they're already so far ahead. 
what was it? What was the timing? It was 10k on Stormstormer pre 18 minutes? Uh, or 14 minutes. What, what was the timing that was just broken by him? It feels like Ursa and, and Batrider this game are, are on pace. Rebound. And uses that ult. So is going to unleash here and get the kill on MS. Now they have the dispose Another into the last side. Is available. Oh, X-Men playing so carelessly. Jumping in like he has some kind of a backup. There is no save whatsoever for him. So if he gets frostbitten if he gets lassoed that means he's definitely dead like even one lift from rubik and the stolen sharpshooter if you click on rubik this sharpshooter his like it matches this the colors of the hero yeah it all works out it's keeping that that ability bar clean or green <laughs> same thing alacrity Going into the Octarine core, so not even going to go for the Blink Dagger. They want Ursa. Now he's got a Blink coming out. Farm is getting up there for both these heroes. I'm surprised. 77% seems a little low with the lead and style of lead they have, but I understand it. Lena things. Lena can always make a comeback, especially now as that Maelstrom. Sharpshooter charge, but uh, not good sights on that Sharpshooter for Felix, unfortunately. Vortex pulling in Alacrity. Son Goku's also here, but the Flame Break lands. They've got the Frostbite. They'll have the Earth, so they get the kill on the X. Now they'll look over at Son Goku, and they're going to lose both. So again, we talked about this game one. Trades are just not equal when Dawn start them. Knights this time around, they are, are the ones making all the moves around the map. Alacrity they did pop a BKB with their Kane rune, so next one will be available in 40 seconds. We'll sync up with his lasso. And now inside the Roche, but they go four points in sidekick on Ursa. It's just uh, way too much sustain and damage. We still haven't seen Ursa in real action yet. He wants to get his BKB, did pick up a Blink Dagger, which is also a farming tool of being able to jump between the camps. Oh, another Storm Hammer stolen. And he has it from this range too. That is a rebound, a frostbite, a dispose, X. He's got the vortex, but the telekinesis locking up the storm for a second. Freezing field, and XCJ will eventually get stunned oh. and killed, but doing some damage on X. They've also got Alacrity going around the back. Flame break, CU Monk spotted. They have Lasso, but they won't even need it. They'll just take out the Lina with ease. Yeah, if Crystal Maiden uses frostbite there and stops her ulti, storm can't attack. So, would stop it from zipping away as well. And now Ego will start to join these fights with the Blink Dagger pickup that we mentioned. A bit, they don't have as much tower damage on their side, so this game might last longer, but they do have a lot of kill threat. They can go for these kills all the time. Felix now is a Blink, and this is where he really starts to shine. When he's got the mobility and able to do whatever he wants. This is Ag's Wrath of Nature for Son Goku first item. I don't mind it. It's uh, like if you want to, it makes you tanky and it also gives you that this arm uh, lowers the cooldown to 60 seconds, which is pretty nice. We'll see if they can use that to chop into this 10K net worth lead and is already there for Knights. There's the Axe. Shard for Sven next, but see how much that's worth. His bottom lane flyby unleashes himself on a Siumung and gets an easy kill. Storm Hammer this time landing from Felix on the MS. Ball Lightning looking for XCJ. They've got the Sharpshooter. They'll get the kill. They'll take it a second, but they end up, uh, well, they're going to lose X. And they're going to lose Son Goku too if he's not too careful. Right clicks in from Ego. And that'll be another one as it's, uh, again, trades not being equal. Knights continuing to get the benefits on this one. Trading uh, two supports for four kills. Uh, Siumung oh. died bottom, and uh, did he die again? Was this was this another death for him? Yeah, just the bottom death. Just the bottom death? Just okay. on the only. Then we're fine, and it's all good. 12k gold lead, 18 minutes into the game. Batrider will have a full Octarine core in the next uh, two, three minutes. Has a haste rune available. BKB will... Be there at similar timings for Ego. So Octarine, BKB timing, Marcy, Basher next. So Flyby looking to just have some 
extra bit of control. Flyby will also be a huge issue for this lean. Like, even if she gets to a BKB, uh, Ursa with the Basher, eventually Marcy, these two heroes can easily play together, jump, close the gap on Lina. And then with the ulti on Marcy, like, the, the hero just disappears once she gets to her item timings. That, that's why I'm a bigger fan of offlane Marcy, because she doesn't tend to farm as much as the core, like, core position one Marcy, where you, like, build that battle fury, then you need a BKB. But uh, these offlane Marcy's, they tend to join fights much more earlier with the rush BKB. By the way, Felix has now surpassed the mid storm in form. Axe had a rough one. He jumps in. There's so many stuns on their side. This frostbite that is maxed out as well. And uh, Felix has been all over the place. He's been there ready most of the time. Stolen LSA or a storm hammer. Anything you steal from Sven is going to be good. You know that uh, he doesn't have a bad ability other than God Strength, which he doesn't even want to pop pretty much. They found the Sven. Another easy kill there for Ego. Just bolstering up those stats and now TPing towards top. So, can they find anybody else here? See him on. He's in their jungle and just trying to farm with X over to the side. Alacrity coming in and they've got the lasso. It's on X. He's dead again. See him on. He's starting to leave. They saw him for a moment as he goes in viz with this Shadow Blade. So he won't die, but they still lose this uh, storm again. Seven death on storm. About to finish is Kaya Sanj needs uh, another 400 gold. But this game looking really rough for Dawn Gaming. Th these are the type of games we've seen them before the break happened in Chinese DPC. Sun Goku and he'll sprout, but those trees burning very quickly. Trying to TP out and has done so. Just burning a lot. X TPs towards the tier two mid. And Octarine Core is finished here for Alacrity. So, yeah, these items are starting to come out. They'll have the BKB soon here for Ego. And you got to wonder what can Dawn do to hold on. It is not looking good. And MS is going <laughs> to die here. This is Power of Marcy. TP. Gets position five, uses BKB, forces a rotation, TPs back. Rest of the team ready to go. If someone shows up on a mid lane, they look pretty dead. Alacrity. Man, what a performance. Like, these bat players, they've been really showing off. Ball lightning to the back line, but Felix, he's got a remnant down. He'll get hit by that sharpshooter. He'll die. They've got the root on Alacrity, but now the flame break, frostbite, and the freezing field. It's all on in the storm. They'll get the kill on the X. That is not worth it. Duck race on the run. Scurrying away. I think you could have said that for every single trade that Dawn Gaming did so far in the game. Not worth it. But uh, they're trying to make something happen. They are, like, using this X as a bait. Like, they get something done. Can't they stun lock him? Where's the damage? No sharpshooter whatsoever. Lena. Yeah, that was used earlier. Seal Monk this time around. Not going for a BKB. Knows that uh, playing into Marcy, playing into Urza. Both of these heroes have bastards. So trying to go for a bit of a different build. Oh, gosh. Both having bastards. How is he ever going to survive? This is a nightmare for a court to play into. Giving two of their cores such a good start. Like, this is the item you want to buy, because, like, one Frostbite, one Rubik Lift, you're dead in a fight, so... His positioning needs to be... Like... I don't know how to sugarcoat it, but... Uh, needs to be somewhere when he's not touched at all, which... Uh, I don't see it happening. That's, that's the problem. Next, Roche might be up in a minute, so... Knights will be looking to get that one, get shard from it as well on Ego, and try, try to close this one out. Yeah, it, it, it's tough. Like you said, hard to sugarcoat it. You can use as much powdered sugar as you want, but it's just not going to make this game feel any sweet for uh, for Dawn at all. Knights are just rolling, and there is no, no stopping them. I and mean, they have 15 kills, but... You've got none on the Ursa and, and none of the Batrider. Did force a BKB from Alacrity. Son Goku, that is ambitious. What did he end up uh, stealing there? Wrath of he stole Wrath of Nature, so be careful. 
could surprise you. Uh, Felix having a really good time. Blink, Lens going into Glimmer Cape next. Wants to be able to protect himself. Has a bit more magic resistance against this jump from Storm. Also, another stolen ability that keeps the abilities for Rubik green. Ah, you're right. So he's only stealing what looks like his abilities. Is there anything else? I mean, anything <laughs> from Hoodwink is uh, green, so matches the color nicely. Man, this a high tier analysis right there. Just, <laughs> it just the green spells. Smoked up. And both teams will smoke, but the high ground advantage is there for Knights. Dakar is scurrying forward. He's going to have his smoke broken to go and get the Storm Hammer, but they've already popped the Enrage. Ball hitting out of the back lines. They're looking over as the Freezing Field is going to be dropped. They get the kill on X. No, it won't. He'll survive with just a sliver of health. Looked like he was dead. And Zip, Ball Lightning. Get oh, he's still going to die. Felix just too good. In range to be able to steal it and then... Jumps on top, gets the Fade Bolt, uh, Roshan. Two minutes until the respawn. Rubik doing the most damage that fight. Look at that. Well, that Wrath of Nature that you mentioned. Yeah, works out for him. Also gets that Ball Lightning, goes after X, gets another kill. Continues to have more net worth, and it's not close anymore. He's got 1,100 gold more on the net worth over the storm. Siumon spotted and killed off. Felix getting yet another. His ball lightning's working out for him. He just needs a way to supply the mana. <laughs> so he changes his item build. He's like, I need more mana, buys a Void Stone, <laughs> has two points in Arcane Rune from Crystal Maiden, going into Yule Scepter next. Wants to have that sustain. It's also a good way of dispelling the Nature's Prophet route, which can be a setup for either Sven, jump from Sven, LSA. So, 35 to 15, 50 kills in 25 minutes. It's been a bloodbath. Ego. Hey, they're going to go for Ego. This this seems ambitious. I've used that word quite a bit. As they will get the kill on MS, so jumping into the hands or claws of a bear is never advised. And a craze hit with the dispose. That means no TP out, and... Well, no hoodwink. Ego is beyond godlike. Him and uh, Lackerty. We'll see that oh. again. The zip. Hey. Look at that. Look at <laughs> And the big smiles. They've been, they've been styling on them this yeah. game. Yeah. That, that, that's always a great feeling, though, as a Rubik, right? Just stealing the, the perfect spells to get these kills. It's such a cool hero. There was a good comment about the, the name of his ulti the other day that I read, Spell Steal. He actually doesn't steal a spell. You still have the spell. Like, it's more of a mimic. Mm. Okay, so you're saying that it's misleading. Yeah. Imagine if he steals LSA from Lena and she's like, oh, man, I don't have LSA for a, <laughs> for a long time. You know, you're giving me an AGS idea, and it fits into the... Uh... Nah, nah, the we, guidelines we, of stupid B cop ideas. <laughs> it, it's eggs. a big list, but we, we don't want to add anything more to it. But also, we don't want to buff Rubik uh, more. He's uh, the hero that's picked the most time in the DPC all region so far. So, for a good reason. Eggs steals spell, actually. Rage, LSA, and Ball Lightning. They want to control this Ursa, but look at Felix. He goes in with the Ball Lightning, gets the Telekinesis sound of the Sea Among. They'll look over at MS. They've got the damage to get this Sven. They just need to get it off. And Flyby, he's going to drop on the high ground. So they actually get the kill on the Marcy. Undo up losing MS. LSA lands an Alacrity, and the Laguna Blade to blow him up. They have an Aegis. It's in the hands of this Ursa, but while well, they're cleaning up the other heroes, they finally take out Sun Goku. And this ends up actually being a bad trade for Knights. Yeah, they are punching back. Uh, buyback from MS, but th this uh, Hex is giving them the, the pickoff, like the instant uh, initiation. So Batrider doesn't get the likes. BKB off. He's ball lightning in. Telekinesis, a Fade Bolt here and there. He is really doing a lot. They're going to go after this Crystal Maiden with a Vortex. XCJ trying to get away from the hands of the Storm. They'll take out MS, and now two heroes die on the side of Dawn again. Oh, man, Ego. Swift Blink, Mindbreaker, of course. So you can initiate on a Storm Spirit, uh, silence him, and uh, 
most of the time you will have enough attack speed uh, to get the bash going, so solo kill potential and now going into Abyssal Blade. He's way too far. Level 22, 28 minutes into the game and uh, also having that shard, so whenever he uses Earth Shock, th this shard is way too powerful. Uh, it, it seems like uh, one of the stronger ones, definitely. Oh, coming in to There's try and kill breaker. Felix, LSA. This Rubik's just baiting his life. Come get me. X and Siumong both go for the Rubik. Both fail at it. We're reaching that point where it's almost a uh, thousand gold per minute. Uncomebackable at that yes. point. It's getting close. We've seen Nature's Prophet to do this thing where they tend to go for Ancients. They know the map is getting smaller, so they try to get any kind of farm they can. Ursa cutting down the tree immediately. Swift link in. Lasso. Easy kill on MS. And GG. Oh, they just, they just call it. Okay, so they do hit the thousand per minute mark, and that's where they call yeah, GG. The game instantly ends. They, they, they were forced to call a GG. <laughs> that is a new mechanic. Knights take the 2-0 series over Dawn Gaming in what was...